Hi guys, Mamie here with OneJoyousSkip.com and today I am working on a project in partnership with NotToShabbyShop.com and you can use my coupon code JOY10 to get an extra 10% off your order upon checkout over there. So go check them out and they do have this stamp set available and it's by Brutus Monroe and it's called Love Suitcase. I was really drawn to this image because it is really whimsical and very doodly type image and I wanted to do some no line watercoloring with it to see what kind of effect I could get. And so to do the no line watercoloring, I first stamp with the Antique Linen Distress Ink. I am going to be using my Distress Inks to fully color in this image. So there's a few things that I do whenever I'm doing these no line watercoloring, especially with these little images. First off, I use these tiny detail watercolor brushes and they make it very easy for these little tiny images. And I will have all of the products that I use listed down below so that you can find them and you can try these techniques for yourself. And so with no line watercoloring, what you do is you stamp the image in a very light color first. And in this case, I'm using the antique linen, which works really well for this technique. But I'm also using um, the antique linen to color in the skin tones as well. And here I'm just showing you a swatch of the um, distress inks that I have available to me. And so I also have a cup of, or a jar rather, of clean water and a jar of already kind of used water. And that is so my water can last longer. I dip my brush in the dirty water first and then I dip it in the clean water and that way I don't have to be switching out my waters constantly because the water can get dirty really fast. And when you dip it in the clean water, then you always will have a jar of clean water ready to go. So sometimes I wet the area first. Um, I'm really trying not to wet it too, too much because I don't want for the lines to disappear before I can fill them in. And so I am taking that antique linen and filling in the skin tones and I'm also doing the cheeks while the skin is still wet so that um, I don't get like a real defined line around those rosy cheeks. And so it's best to do that while it's still wet. But the rest of the card is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I do just a tiny bit of shading, but you can see everything that's going on in the video pretty easily. And so I'm going to leave you guys with some music while I finish coloring in the images. And then whenever I'm done coloring the images, I'll talk you through uh, the rest of the card project um, towards the end. But yes, so make sure that you stop by her store at nottooshabbyshop.com and use that coupon code JOY10 upon checkout and get that extra 10% off. I love Jamie. She is the sweetest lady ever. And so go by there and show her some love. So I'm going to leave you guys with the coloring. And like I said, I will be back on the other side to take you through the rest of the card.
Okay, and so now we're done with the coloring and we are moving on to adding the sentiment to the card. And I'm using a piece of acetate here because this stamp set that I have here um, by Tim Holtz, um, it's called Stamp, um, by Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz, it's called Just Thoughts. has a lot of great little sentiments in it, um, but they are red rubber stamps, so it's hard to know if my the sentiment is centered or if it's lined up correctly and so the way that you can go about that is just stamping putting it on your misty and then flipping that over stamping onto a piece of acetate like you see here and so that way i'll know if i have my stamp aligned correctly and so that's just a quick way that you can do that and so now i've decided that the alignment is all good so i will just um, re-stamp it now onto the card project itself and I am using Memento Toffee Crunch in order to stamp that. And I'm going to go ahead and double stamp it, inking the sentiment up twice to make that nice and bold. I wanted it to stand out just a little bit. And so now I have my sentiment a, a shade darker and um, I'm really enjoying the way this card came together. It's just really sweet and simple and whimsical and I just really love this little image to use. And so now I am taking a rectangle die and I'm going to frame this focal point here with that die. So I cut that out using my die cutting machine. And I'm going to adhere that onto some craft paper, craft card stock, with a little bit of double-sided adhesive here. And the stamp set also comes with some little hearts, and it also comes with some sentiments as well. Um, congrats on your new home. We've moved, just moved, or just married. And it also has some little hearts and a little word that says smile. So you have lots of little options with this um, stamp set, and it's a lot. It's It's got a lot in it, and so it's a really great price point as well. So make sure you stop by Jamie's store and check that one out. So I use the little hearts just to fill in a little bit of the white space, and I think it came out really cute. And so that's basically the card for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this no-line um, water coloring technique and I'm going to finish off the card with a little bit of this Pico embellisher and it's kind of like glossy accents. Most people know what glossy accents is and so uh, the it's kind of the same thing. It gives you a dimensional crystal clear um, it's crystal clear dimension. I don't know how else to explain it and it'll give those glasses kind of a reflective transparent look to make it look more realistic and I think it turns out really cute with those glasses. So this is the final card project and I also gave her some little freckles. So thanks for stopping by guys and I will see you in the next video.